Just something to drape over me, something super simple. I don't want to put on a stupid vest <laughs> or a damn light up thing that you can't see. So I came up with the idea. Nice. I had just a single one that I just wrapped around me. I sewed, I had it like sewed in the corners and stuff, thinking I had to go around it. It looks terrible. I'm like, okay, well, I'll do that. Then I just looped it over and sewed it at the end. And then Eva is the one that told me how to sew them back to back because I just sewed two of them and then folded it over. It's really wonky. But then you saw the, the seam on the one side, but Eva came up with that idea. Do you have a favorite of my friends? Do I have a favorite of your friends? I don't think I want to answer that question. There's a lot of your friends I really like a lot. A lot of your friends I don't like so much. But most of your friends I think are pretty awesome. What is your wow. a fun little childhood story you have? I think one thing I remember a lot was the uh, smashing of the tulips with the baseball bat. The neighbors, the quillings of the street, one, two, three houses up, four houses up, same side of the street. And this beautiful garden of tulips that I had my wiffle ball bat and I just couldn't resist it. So I went up and I smacked one and it was so awesome. But I smacked them all and destroyed all of their tulips. But man, it was it was bad, but at the time it was so fun. <laughs> Imagine tulips and watch them just explode like that. Uh, I was a pretty destructive kid, <laughs> to say the least. And you also once um kid, there was like a window open. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so our neighbor, next door neighbors, the Tenbrooks. William Tenbrook, he was my best friend growing up. He, uh, his parents were outside. No, they were inside. I don't even know where they were. <laughs> but all I knew is their windows were off. <laughs> Had these big bay windows in the front facing the street. So I saw the windows and the hose was out there. I think the hose was even still on. <laughs> so I went up and I just sprayed it all inside the house. I just, I don't know why. I know it must have been off because I think I sprayed it and I just saw this big empty vacant house with the windows off. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I did that. That wasn't very smart. Got myself in a lot of trouble with fires too. I like fire. <laughs> but one time when I was, oh, what did you do? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> this help you? Being a parent, I can tell an awful story that I did that I traumatized my mom through. Twice I traumatized her really bad. Like, if you did this to me, I don't think I'd ever be the same. The way she is. So uh, at the bottom of the hill, we lived on the top of this hill, we go down Vanderbork, and there's a playground down there. So me and a bunch of my friends were down there at the playground, you know, we're having a, a can fight where you pull cans out of the garbage can and you throw them at each other, you know, and you can duck behind stuff and try to throw. I'm throwing an empty pop can, it's hard to do. Except somebody got some velocity on one and cracked me right in the forehead and just gashed. Somehow they hit my forehead because my forehead's pretty small. And so, I don't know how they hit it. But somehow they managed to hit my forehead. And it bled. It bled like crazy. There was blood all over my face. So I started to walk up the hill to go home because my friends said I gotta go home. By the time I got to the top of the hill, my whole face was completely blood red, blood all over the front of my uh, sure, my mom just, I don't remember what she looked like, but she just said that just, it's probably the worst thing she's ever seen. You're lucky I never 
never gotten like. Besides when I came home and I cut my pinky out. That was probably, that was probably the first worst thing. It was actually hanging there. It was still connected. And if you came home and chopped off one of your fingers, oh my god. So yeah, I opted to not have it sewn back on, so now I have this really cool, cool pinky. Look at that. <laughs> what? I think they could have sewn it back on, but... You're just like, screw it. Like, nah. Get the thing off. But can I keep the rest of it? They wouldn't let me keep it. I think I like this better than the white and gray. This would be fun. <laughs> Have a huge heart. Big heart. <laughs> it's alright. See? Big heart. <laughs> okay. It looks so natural. Yeah, it really does. Oh my god, look at how dirty this door is. <laughs> <laughs> 